Guys, look at these gorgeous hash brown potatoes. Today's recipe is hash brown potatoes, but there's two recipes here. I'm gonna show you the new way and the old way. Well, howdy folks. Welcome to Texas Cooking Today. Folks, what you're watching right now is a Texas Cooking Today recipe video. And if you get to the end of this and you're kind of wondering, you know, well, how did he do this or how did he do that? Then all you need to do is just watch the next episode that I put out. That is, believe it or not, a full-on cooking tutorial. It's designed to teach technique and methodology and things like that. And so it is very complete, has a lot of information in it. And if there's any questions about how I pull off this recipe, they're going to be answered in that one. So do yourself a favor, watch this video, and when you're done with it, give that tutorial a try. You might find they're exactly what you're looking for. And thank you for watching. Oh, guys, you saw that. That's some gorgeous hash browns. Now, hash browns are a wonderful dish, but there is the way they make them today, and there is the way they used to be made yesterday. Okay, so what I want to give you today are two recipes on how to make hash browns. If you were to go to a restaurant, let's say, that, that commonly serves breakfast foods, and uh, that, you know, someplace that provides, you know, the eggs, bacon, waffles, pancakes kind of place. All right, well, that restaurant is gonna serve you a type of hash browns, and I'm gonna show you how they do it. Um, I'm also going to show you what it would have been like had you gone to a diner in 1955 and ordered hash browns. So you're gonna get that kind of a recipe too. So guys, this is hash browns two ways. Let's get in the kitchen and make this. It's not hard, come on. Okay guys, here we have it. Very, very simple clean ingredients. Both of these recipes are simple when it comes to the ingredients. However, there is um, a difference in flavor and overall the complex once they're finished. They are not the same dish. So what we're gonna be using, of course, potatoes. Also have some onion, olive oil, black pepper, salt, and butter. All right, now for one dish, we're gonna be using the butter, salt, and potato. And for the other dish, we're gonna be using the olive oil, black pepper, salt, onion, and potato. So let's get on with making these delicious recipes. Okay guys, let's take that potato, get it shredded, and then we can get started cooking it. Now guys, once you have a potato shredded, and you've got about one cup of potato, you're gonna use a medium saute pan like this, just a medium fry pan, and you're gonna take the butter, and you're gonna put it down in that pan after you've heated the pan a little bit. Don't put the butter in the pan and then heat the pan. Do it the other way. Heat the pan first, once it comes up in temperature, it's good and hot. Then we put our butter and potatoes in there. And from doing it that way, we're gonna get a nice caramelizing effect. This is a really fun and cool recipe. But remember guys, don't put things in the pan cold. Heat the pan first. Now guys, this is important. It's important in the way it all comes out. Now guys, once you get your pan heated, put the butter in there. Put the potatoes right on top and cook that until it forms a nice solid crust underneath. Once it is nice and brown, at that point we're going to turn it and cook the other side. Don't worry, the potatoes take that butter in real well and it gives it a magnificent flavor. For our next recipe, let's dice up the onion and the potato and then we're ready to start cooking. Now guys, once you've got all of your onion and potato diced up and looking nice and pretty, we want to then heat a pan so we can put oil in it and put all of these ingredients in there together to get them cooking. Honestly, this is the best way I know of of testing my pans. I've been cooking for decades and folks, if I still do it this way after decades of work in the kitchen, you ought to consider this as a viable method of knowing when your pan is hot enough. Okay guys, 
It's beginning to skate just a little bit. Because remember, once you hit laden frost effect, it's going to dance in there for a while. It'll stay in that pan. Okay, now my temperature is going to be hot enough because that last time it was beginning its laden frost effect temperature. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to take all of my onions and potatoes and just put them in there together. Guys, I have heated my pan up, got olive oil in it, we put our ingredients down in there, and a little bit of salt. That was only about maybe a quarter to half a teaspoon of salt, and they're cooking up now. So give them time. You're going to turn them occasionally. You'll have to scrape them off the bottom of the skillet because there's going to be some sticking as the browning occurs. This is a slow process, so be patient. Now folks, don't forget, as you're cooking these, to turn them time to time. See the caramelization we're getting there? So just go ahead and turn these and get them stirred on a, a regular basis as you're cooking. And it's cook, coming right along. You want to do that about every four to five minutes. Mm. Okay, the new version is wonderful. Of course, it's just potatoes fried in butter. But it's predictable and delicious. These things from the old recipe. Mmm. Oh, wow. Get those caramelized tidbits in there. Mm. It's much, much more savory. Better flavor, a little sweetness there. To me, the old style recipe, that's what hash browns really should be. Delicious, full-bodied, something that's also packed with nutrition. You've got onion, you've got potato, both there. And the flavor is just remarkable. Guys, I would like to say thank you very much for watching this show, for watching Texas Cooking today. If you would, please subscribe and click the like button. Drop some comments down there. These things I really appreciate. Also, share my videos. It really helps me out a lot. Folks, I'd like to thank you once again. And if you would, please just have a good day. Bye-bye. Guys, there it is. A beautiful recipe from Texas Cooking Today. Now, so you'll know, in case this didn't answer all of the questions, if there's questions you have about how to do any of what you've just seen, please watch the next episode. That's a tutorial on this exact same recipe. And guys, it's going to be chock full of information. I'd like to say thanks a lot for watching Texas Cooking Today. Please, if you would, share the videos. Check out my channel. You're going to like some of the stuff you find there. And folks, Thank you very much for watching Texas Cooking Today.